So, is the secret price of motherhood living with boredom or is it the best job in the world? We're joined by broadcaster and DJ Ashley James, who says being a mum is monotonous, and writer and broadcaster Claire Muldoon, who says it's the most important job in the world. That doesn't necessarily mean, Claire, does it, that it's not boring just because no. it's important? No, 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 but it's a very, very worthwhile job. I can't think of a, a job that's more rewarding, in fact, than being a mother. Um, it is difficult. At times, I, I've wanted to kill some of my children. Um, obviously, I didn't. They're still alive. <laughs> um, but, you know, it is difficult, but it's your choice. You have a child as the, you, you, if you have a pet. The pet's not just for Christmas, nor is the child. The child is for life. How old and are your we, kids now, Claire? Um, eldest is 25. I've got a 23-year-old, a 20-year-old and a 19-year-old. And it is tough. There was four under the age of six. Mm. I had them on my own for the past 11, 12 years. And, you know, I would actually think most women would actually say that they are single parents, even when they are married, because we do do more. We do do more because that's the role of a mother. So tough and demanding, but you're adamant, are you, that it's not boring? Yes. I mean, there are times, of course, where it's... I wouldn't say it was monotonous or boring because you're doing the same thing every day, but every child is different. Mm. Therefore, you get different personalities coming through, and that's what's so rewarding. You're building okay. character, you're building the future. So, Ashley, Ashley you're a, a different part of your mothering life. How old are yours? Yeah, so mine are two and a half and four months. And, of course, it's rewarding and amazing. And I feel like it's a shame that we have to caveat everything we say when we talk about the struggles and the monotony with, but I love my children and I'm so grateful for them. Because, of course, and both can be true. And, actually, I'm really envious of the mothers and the fathers who do love all aspects of parenting, and I wish I was that person, but I find it, a lot of it, really monotonous. So what's the monotonous bit for you? So before motherhood, I was a DJ, I was going around the world, I could see my friends whenever I wanted. There was spontaneity and excitement to my life. And some people thrive in routine and some people don't. And I find the day-to-day -day quite boring and, you know, doing finger puppets, trying to entertain a four-month-old. And of course you look back, and I think this is the problem, we can often look back at things with rose tinted into glasses because the hours turn into the years and you're like wow do you remember their first smile and do you remember this and I've had the greatest highs from motherhood I would not swap it for the world but the day-to-day -day can be incredibly boring and I don't think it should be a controversial thing to say. Uh, Claire, Maggie's got in touch on Twitter. Yeah. It depends on the age of the babies but the, it depends on the age. Babies are boring. All they do is sleep, eat and poo. Well, you've got, you know, it's nine months up, nine months down. Why don't, the, why doesn't this country underpin the importance of family units, right? Why doesn't it underpin the importance of being a mother, being a carer, being a giver? Now, Ashley, you said that what's, you know, a finger puppet, you find that quite boring with your four-month-old. You don't know what impact that's having on your child. If you get a smile from your child, if you get, you know, any note of satisfaction from the child, it's not all about us being mothers. And I, I should have to say, say this, I do the boring stuff gladly because I love my children. Mm. However, lots of lots of mums these days are barristers and lawyers. I mean, they don't they have always to... have been. Yeah, OK, well, they're professional people and you do use a different part of your brain. So lots of people miss that intellectual stimulation or the adult conversation. And lots of people don't have the village. And it is a very isolating, monotonous job. But I do all of it gladly because I love them. But I also think when I had my son and it was in lockdown, I found it really boring and everybody always said, you know, every moment's worth it, every moment's mm. worth it. And I thought I was the devil. I thought... Am I this whole horrible person that I find it really boring? And I used to Google at night, like, am I this... Because like, I felt like every, every woman should have this amazing maternal instinct that kicks in and all the moments are rose-tinted. It's not even about And every day's like instincts. Disneyland. But I was so grateful when my friend, who's a mum, said to me, of course it's boring. I don't love parenthood. And I was like, oh, oh, thank God, I, f I feel like this is OK. It's, it's not normal. Just and it's not just me. And I wish more people could feel like they could say it without it being controversial and without having to caveat it with, but I love my children. Because, of course, like, for a tennis player that was going around the world and didn't have to think about responsibility and she probably does find it boring and, and that's OK. But her own, is, her own admission, it was a very selfish existence when you were yes. a single tennis player. You, 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 I mean, you are literally but focused it's on coming what from you're people doing. Who say, selfish people who say they embrace. don't want children, especially women who say they want to be child-free by choice, are also told that they're selfish. So I do feel like you I can't I think that's win. a completely separate argument yeah. because those that 
that have chosen not to have children wouldn't be debating this. Claire, have you ever? Have we, you ever? I mean, Ashley makes a really good point though yeah. that she was nervous about sharing that she was struggling a little bit with, with some of the monotony. Did you ever feel like that when yours were much younger? Goodness me, this isn't as stimulating well, as I'd hoped it was going to be. Maybe it's because I'm Glaswegian. There's not much sensitivity in me. <laughs> I don't know. However, of course, there were times when things were difficult, and as I said at the opening of the show, I wanted to kill them sometimes, but it was never bored. It was never a drudge. And if I found that it was getting that, you just suck it up, suck it up. We chose to have the children. We are building characters. We're building the future of society. We should be proud of that. And they are our greatest products. And they are, it's a, I, such I think... a rewarding circumstances. And just on the support network, I do take on board the fact that you had your first child during lockdown. Mm. It must have been completely and utterly bewildering. However, there's loads of help online. There are a multitude, a myriad of... NCT classes, support classes, and things, even the dreaded yeah. mums net online for support. I think this forced support. pressure, though, of you should enjoy it, you should enjoy every moment. It's a life, like, you chose to have children, and I think, actually, this is why so many mums struggle, because it's almost like they're begging for help or we're trying to admit they're struggling, and it's like, well, you should Well, you admitting life. that has been really positive this morning, Ashley. Thank you for coming in, Claire, as well. We're out of time. Our Twitter poll, is motherhood boring? 42% yes, 58% no. I think that's slightly... Swung There's towards been a Claire's nose yeah. over the course of the morning. Good to speak to you. Thank both. you both. Thank you.